I haven't read the novels. I have been a part of this for a while and I certainly have played her at different moments, but I don't know the novels. I'm not sure what Tony has excavated for source material. whisper of rebellion in this, but they are not connected in any way. There is an understanding that there is an oppressive regime, that um, Palpatine is, is marching forward on that road to autocracy that we recognize, but there is no collective rebellion at this stage. There is not quite a rebellion yet. You know, we're so used to having the empire versus rebellion. Rokin is leading what we hope will eventually become what we know as the rebellion. This is kind of like the first chapter. Rokin, there are not many leaders left. People follow you. Don't stop. You've spent 10 years protecting the Jedi. This is my chance to return that favor. You must get these people out of here. You are all the future. You are the future. You're what needs to survive. Palpatine is not the dictator yet. The Republic will be reorganized into the first galactic empire. Good people out there, tall. They pay their way, listen to the Empire. Absolutely. We love the Empire. Looking for a Jedi. A Jedi? Out here? I hope we're not in any danger. Oh, uh, no, we'll find them. We always do. We have a presence there. Full battery to strip Operation Bintrium. I'll inform Lord Vader. He's already been informed. I wonder if your thoughts are clear on this, Lord Vader. Kenobi means nothing. I serve only you, my master. The Empire's gone into high alert. They've locked everything down. I can't lose her. You've no idea what the Empire is capable of. Right after I saw you, I got into a fight with that scary lady Inquisitor. Now I'm wanted by the Empire. I understand you're scared. The Empire will attack soon. They're stronger than us, better equipped, better trained. You know, I was following orders on Gorel. The Empire said it was a roundup. People not paying their way, taxes for the cause. They lied. I joined up when the Empire stood for something. By the time I realized what they really were, it was too late. What are you doing to me? The same thing I'd do to anyone who doesn't embrace the Empire. How does she get to Rogue One and stand there and introduce Cassian to Jin and say, go, go and do this. If she's telling the truth, we need to act now. Counselors, please. Death Star, this is nonsense. What reason would my father have to lie? What benefit would it bring him? Run, hide, plead for mercy, scatter your forces. You give way to an enemy this evil with this much power, and you condemn the galaxy to an eternity of submission. You need to capture the Death Star plans if there's any hope of destroying it. How do you call on someone to make that sacrifice? I'm sorry. Jim. Without the full support of the Council, 
The odds are too great. You don't look happy. They prefer to surrender. And you? Who wants to fight? They were never gonna believe you. But I do. I believe you. I'd like to volunteer. Cargo shuttle, read back, please. What's going on out there? That's an impounded Imperial ship. What's your call sign, pilot? Rogue? Rogue One. Rogue One? There is no Rogue One. Intercepted Imperial transmission, Mom. Rebels on Scarif. I need to speak with Admiral Radis. He's returned to his ship. He's going to fight. Please like, subscribe, and comment on the video. May the Force be with you. Impressive. Impressive. The most impressive.